Okay, uh, hello, dear present. I am going to present your report on the topic a framework for detection of uh, medium cyber attacks in smart grid net network based on application of ensemble process for feature selection. This report is presented by Andrei Nichipuruk, Associate Professor of Computer Engineering and Information System Department of Khmelnytsky National University. Introduction and motivation. Uh, the smart grid cyberphysical system is uh, uh, the implementation of general concept of open cyberphysical system in which information process relate to the supervisory control of physical device and the storage transformation and processing date from this, de from, uh, this device with the aim of automating and optimization uh, production process. Smart Grid uses information and communication network and technologies to collect information about energy production and energy consumption, which allows to automatically increase the efficiency, reliability, economic benefit, etc. Uh, we consider a smart, smart Grid cyberphysical system, which is uh, repre represented by three levels. It's a supervisory level, a control level, and a level of physical equipment. From the point of view of security and data protection, the level of supervisory management is the most protected against cyber attacks, which is due to the approximation to traditional IT infrastructure, uh, which is uh, presented by firewalls, intrusion detection system, encryption of data, transmission uh, channel, backup, and so on. At the same time, uh, the control level is vulnerable to cyber attacks, which is primarily due to use of special information transfer protocols, uh, such as uh, DNP free and Modbus, for which uh, indicators of security and confidentiality uh, of information transfer have taken a back seat, giving way to the efficiency of information transfer between physical and cyber physical environment. Uh, one of dangerous cyber attack uh, to this level is medium uh, keep, uh, cyber attacks. Uh, it's a, a shortcut for a man in the middle uh, attack in which um, uh, attacker attacker uh, secretly relays uh, and, if necessary, modify a communication between two parties who believe that they directly communicate with each other. Therefore, as a counter measure, we uh, proposed a framework for detection of such attacks in a smart grid based on the application of ensemble process for feature selection. To create the decision model, uh, a study was carried out, which is involved the selection of optimal sets of features by applying various feature selection methods. In addition, we have uh, formed another set, uh, which is the result of process of assembling feature. So uh, our framework. The workflow of proposed framework consists of two main stage. It's a model creation and performance evaluation. The model creation stage consists of date preparation, date preprocessing, feature selection, and model creation. This stage is focused on the selection of optimal set of feature by applying various feature selection methods, as well as creating the two machine learning models based on them. It should be noted that in addition to the sets of features that, uh, that we are uh, formed by the methods of feature selection, we will create another set for testing and checking the efficiency. This set will be formed as a result of process of assembling feature that were formed by feature selection uh, method. Uh, we have investigated uh, the sets of feature used to distinguish, uh, distinguish between anomalous and uh, normal activity in network operating uh, under DNP uh, free our TCP IP uh, stack. In particular, research, researchers used such features as uh, sets of uh, functional quotes in message, timestamp, uh, statistical date of network traffic. After analyzing the previous research, a general base of feature was formed, which consider, uh, consisted of uh, 65 feature, features. The resulting uh, methods of uh, selecting feature belonging to different subclass were chosen. Uh, after obtaining uh, five feature sets from each uh, of five feature selection methods, it was observed that a large number of features were re repeated uh, in different sets. We create uh, uh, 
is, is, is another feature sets uh, basis uh, in the basis of uh, uh, sets uh, from five to, from one to five. To do this, assision, uh, we assign each feature fi was given a numerical score of feature, which was determined as a product of frequency of occurrence of the feature in the set uh, from one to five and weight weighting coefficient. The weighting coefficient for feature was determined as the sum of uh, rations of numbers of feature from the set six uh, that uh, is presented in JIT sets for the total number of feature from the sets uh, six, which are presented in each five uh, sets from one to five. Uh, if uh, if uh, in each uh, of sets from one to five, a given number of feature is defined, for example, uh, 13, 10, 9, 8, 8. And for example, feature the medium uh, value of interval between packets is presented in set, for example, 1, 2, and 5. Then uh, the coefficient uh, we will determine in, uh, as uh, presented in such uh, slide. Thus, uh, on the basis of uh, this equation, a numerical score is determined for each feature uh, from the set six. The next step uh, is to produce the feature analysis in set uh, six accordingly to the following rules. It's uh, three rules. Uh, uh, first one, uh, feature uh, uh, reminds in the uh, sixth set if it is present, uh, present in most of sets or from one to five. Second, feature uh, is excluded from the set six if it is present ex exclusively in one set from set one to five. And uh, the last one, uh, for the rest of features, uh, we uh, estimate a score uh, and compare with uh, threshold value theta. So uh, modeling experiments and evaluation. Uh, appropriate infrastructure was deployed to conduct experiment research. It includes three nodes, the main node, the remote node or outstation, and nodes that uh, was simulating a medium cyber attack. All three nodes are connected through a switch. Date exchange between nodes was implemented use it, using the OpenDNP library, which implements communication through a DNP3 protocol, our TCP IP stack. The wire shark, shark utility was used to obtain data from network traffic. Uh, data uh, acquisition involved two scenarios. The first involves uh, receiving traffic during, uh, during normal communication between master and outstation node. The second scenario involved the simulation of man in the middle attack in which the attacker's node intercept traffic passing between legitimate nodes. For this, the Ether Cup utility was used, which the help of uh, which the IP address of master and outstation were added to the attacker's node. Uh, next, an R poison attack um, uh, was uh, so selected to intercept the transmitted information. The attack scenario involved data modification for binary control commands. After date normalization in all uh, obtained vectors, feature were selected uh, based on ensemble process. For this, the sets from one to five were, uh, were first formed. To carry out the process of selection from training sample, a part of vector uh, is uh, it's about uh, 1000 was used. The Skyline Learn library was used to implement feature selection method. Uh, the obtained sets of feature were used uh, to carry out the feature selection process based on ensemble. The result of ensemble process and creation of the set of feature six is shown in um, this slide. From this uh, table, it can be, it can be uh, seen which feature were selected. It's highlighted uh, with uh, green color and respectively rejected that uh, is uh, highlighted uh, in red color. In order to evaluate the efficiency uh, of proposed framework for detection of uh, man in the middle attacks in a uh, smart grid uh, cyberphysical network, uh, we use uh, such known uh, metrics of evaluation metrics uh, in classification tasks uh, such as accuracy, precision, recall, and uh, 
false negative rate. A test sample uh, was used to evaluate each machine learning model, which is presented by two uh, known uh, classification models, uh, such as uh, support vector machine and decision tree. According to obtained result, the date set with feature represented uh, of the set six showed shown uh, the highest performance when classifi class classified by both machine learning methods. In particular, uh, the decision uh, tree-based classi classifier demonstrate an accuracy rate of 0.94 and a recall rate of uh, 0.92, which is the highest, highest value among all sets. At the same time, the best precision rate was obtained in the support vector machine model, which uh, with the sixth set of feature. It should be noted that all models of classifier were evaluated for the false negative rate, which are present a type of second error type that occurs when a legit legitimate traffic sample is mistakenly identified as a malicious. The lowest value was obtained on the date set with feature from the second set for, for the support vector machine classifier, while the false negative rate value for the sixth set was better in support vector machine model. Uh, thank you uh, for your attention. Maybe you have a question. Uh, thank you, Andre. So any questions, please? OK, uh, Professor Lysenko. Andre, can you tell us what is the main nettle box? Maybe some uh, limitations of your approach, which are to be fixed in your future work. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, I think uh, this uh, this work is a uh, uh, first stage uh, in our research, and uh, uh, we choose uh, two best known. Uh, uh, model classification uh, classificator such as support vector machine and uh, uh, decision tree classifier we choose it because uh, we believe that it is uh, a good uh, classifier for the task of classification but uh, if uh, you know we have uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, different uh, classifier and uh, we believe that uh, we can uh, approve um, our uh, research by using um, some other classifier in future. It is it will be our next uh, research grounding on this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any more questions, please? Okay, I have a, I have one question. Uh, Andre, please show the your conclusion slide. Conclusion. Oh, uh, this is only the result. You have no conclusion. Okay. And no conclusion, no discussion slide. So <laughs> my question is, so what is your impact? What is your own contribution in comparison with the existing related works? Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. We, okay, uh, we uh, had an analyzed uh, a lot of work and we uh, investigate um, and research the um, different uh, different features feature sets that uh, previous work uh, had uh, used and we try um, in this work we try to implement uh, take best uh, from all of uh, from known from known Mm, approaches that we consider it and take uh, their uh, in their work we find what feature they uh, had used and we uh, use uh, them also and we um, investigate of a process of uh, uh, ensemble features to form uh, our uh, our feature set uh, and we um, try to uh, use this feature set to to the task of uh, meeting cyber attack detection. And I think it's not uh, not very bad uh, 
result uh, its accuracy in the level of uh, 0.94 it's the best uh, our uh, accuracy le uh, level we obtain so okay thank you